two hours flight from Namibia you can catch a plane that comes to South Africa and that is what I've done I'm in the city of Cape Town and what is unique about this city is it's where the Atlantic Ocean and the Indian Ocean meet each other and the city also has won several awards of being the most beautiful city in the world so let's see if it lives up to its reputation good morning from uh, sunny Cape Town as you can see <laughs> my cup is serving me from the rain today how's it as I'd say in Afrikaans and how's that as we say in English I wasn't prepared for this weather but the cap saving me and the shirt which I bought in uh, Namibia is slightly waterproof so the plan today is I booked a bus um, tour for this morning which will take me to the Penguin Beach and also to Cape Hope which I'm looking forward to but if the penguins aren't going to be around because of the weather that will be a bit of a disappointment but I'm hoping these uh, South African penguins are hard <laughs> so now what I'm doing is trying to look for where the bus stop is and then we'll be on our way so the weather has actually improved I just arrived at the penguin bay and this is what I'm greeted to. Wow, nice views. But where are the penguins? I suppose further down. Let's do it. So I'm now on Boulders Beach and obviously you know why it's called that. <laughs> But the question is, where are the penguins? Everyone's heading over in that direction. So I'm hoping I'll be able to find a penguin there. So on the other side of uh, Boulders Beach, if you go through the rocks, you can actually see penguins between them. This is the closest I've got so far. because these rocks are pretty slippery so I even got closer to the penguins and these guys are just posing experts team penguin do you agree? team penguin? yeah <laughs> Let's go, Team Penguin! Hey. <laughs> so if you ever visit Cape Town and come to Boulders Beach at the start bit you will not see any penguins on this area to see the penguins and get close up to them like I was you have to go through these little boulders here and just to warn those rocks can be a bit slippy right now it's time for lunch and then off to Cape Point and Cape Hope So on the way now up to uh, Cape Point, uh, down there there's a sign that says welcome to Cape Point. Uh, I would have taken a photo but there's a lot of people there now but I can show you what it looks like. There's one guy helped take a picture for me. There it is. Cape Point, south latitude, east latitude, it shows up there. But this isn't the most southern uh, point of uh, South Africa. The most southern point is Cape of Good Hope, which I'm going to be hiking there 
with in fact one of the uh, tour bus uh, guides so let's see how this goes Look at this view. Wow. That's amazing. Beautiful view. Here up to the lighthouse at Cape Point. The Atlantic Ocean. Look how far it goes as well. Amazing views. Right, time now to go to Cape of Good Hope. Wow, so that's Cape Point done. We can tick the box. And in a bit, I'm gonna go with the tour guide and go to the Cape of Good Hope. And here was the sign. Ticket. Boop. <laughs> Just look at this though, before we carry on. I love that view. The coast, wow, that is nice. And now definitely need to go and experience and visit the southern part of Africa. Let's do it. managed to get up to the uh, Cape of Good Hope after a rocky climb. Uh, look at the views from here. Wow. <laughs> nice one. <laughs> the most southern point of Africa. This is amazing. I'm glad I've achieved it. <laughs> I don't think you get better views than that. Well, the hard point is going to be getting down to the bus, which is down there. <laughs> so that was a great experience going to Cape Point and the Cape of Good Hope. And now it's time for me to get a drink. And this is apparently the kind of famous place, popular place, which is called v &A. Over here, we actually got the uh, table mountain in the back of that frame. Cool. And nearby here, you can actually get a boat that goes to uh, Robin Island, where Mandela, he was prisoned there for under 18 years. And I believe it's over here in this port areas. There's even a museum over on that side. But for now, tomorrow is gonna to be fun. I'm gonna to go to Table Mountain and I hope you will join me with this. But for now, it's time for me to get a couple of South African beers down me. Have a good night. Scenery. I'm 
my way to Table Mountain now on the city sightseeing bus and the ticket only cost me £275. Pounds. That is around about £12 in the UK currency. And it means after the uh, Table Mountain we can continue our journey and see what else the city has to offer. At the moment though I'm admiring this beautiful scenery. Table Mountain cable car and um, we got some nice views behind me. Look at that. Wow. But unfortunately that's not all the way up to the top. The cable car is currently not in service due to strong winds. But here it is. And that's how far we go up. If we get to go up there. currently rating and I'm gonna wait and place my bet that the next cable car to go up there will be the next 30 minutes or so, fingers crossed. And there it is, look up. Southern Wonder of Nature. And it's off. Let's see what it's like. It's pretty slow. I think it takes about five minutes to go up there. Wow, that is very slow. Oh well, looking forward to getting into the top. So I'm at the top of Table Mountain now and uh, I'm pretty impressed. I thought it was going to be just a little small viewing platform, but it goes way back there. Look at that. Wow. But what I do like here is you've got this little dial which tells you which directions the cities are in. So for example, Singapore. We've got Singapore over here, which is in the east direction. E marks a spot over there. And on the other side, on the west, we have got Mexico City, Rio de Janeiro. And look at the view towards their cities. There's the Atlantic. Wow, nice. Hola amigos. <laughs> and there, there's the pub. Once you've had a little walk. Alright, let's go and see what we can see further down there. Best view of Cape Town City from Table Mountain. Look at this. Wow, that is something. So, what we've got here is the uh, Cape Town Stadium, there where they play the cricket and I think the rugby. And also, what we can see from here is Robin Island, and that was where Mandela was situated. 18 years in prison. What a view. Definitely recommend Table Mountain. Get to So my time has come to an end in Cape Town. And what do I think of Cape Town? Well, it is definitely one of the most beautiful cities I've been to 
We've got beaches like here. You've got nature like over there. And you also have wildlife and safari. Would I come back to Cape Town? I definitely would come back. Um, you can't visit everything within two, three days, like I've been here just for two days. Um, I definitely will come back. Um, for other parts of South Africa, it would be also interesting to visit. But for now, I'd like to thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe below and definitely consider to um, visit South Africa. Cape Town, number one.